Yes, we're back yes! in the ball on the ground! Yes, we're boys. back in bad. It's good three it? bad boys. Andy Halliday, Paul Slain, and the big Texan chef, <laughs> Keith Kyle. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Keith. I don't know. Oh. Come on, Keith. What's this? A jet's landed in your... A jet's landed in your back garden with the face doing our suck, what you did. <laughs> I'm just realised I jumped up. I'm just realised I jumped. Lynn went to Primark through the week and she says, "Oh, they've got the full Greg's range. Will I get you one for a laugh?" I says, "Are you fashion decent?" Yeah, go and suck the cream out your donut. Are you going? To, you, you, Come you, on, Keith. You picked up a text, didn't you? I picked up a text and I. That's bizarre, that, isn't it? I know. What's the chance of that? <laughs> we just talk. We, we see talk. Just, uh, we're just talking back and forth and texting. <laughs> Right, come on, engage it. No, I don't know. I, come I, on, I there's cow shit on your jeans. I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't rehearse this week. There's cow shit on your jeans. That's how you go to the podcast, mate. People are waiting for you. Yeah, I know. Everybody did message you. We'll do it after. I'll just know what they're doing. Now. No, come on, Kev. Straight Kale. early in the day. Straight in it. Uh, By the way, I see the Condorits going well. Four and one at the weekend. Goals for Barry, Gary and Harry. <laughs> and their cousin Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the new team, big man? The new team's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what a sign is that? No, the new team's done, man. I've got any signing news for the aye, public? Aye, aye, public. Put the, put for the, the fans. Put the, the finals out yesterday. Hey, last week, sorry. I've got two players. <laughs> <laughs> No, get a few on loan for Boca, no? Nah, no, no. Put them in. We're, no way. We are a uh, few loan boys, no? No. But yeah, Boca are sponsored by Nike now, have you seen that? A few oh, yeah. I'll give them a few just above, <laughs> above the O, it says, just do it. Tattooed. <laughs> I just go to Chim and Mature it. There's a dent to make sure it. Nah, we all know give you a person, no way. No. So, what, do you want to put a plea for players? No, no, I'm not a plea for players, just... Uh, is it in, is the dream over? No, the dream's not over. Oh, I love it. I see you had to change your sign as well. I know, the SFA team made it over. <laughs> I was what, a start. what a start What a start SFA Do you know say Ralph Ragnick's coming as technical director <laughs> You know what right The SFA's messaged me to change my logo Because I used a badge And didn't have permission <laughs> Message, And I was like You Doncaster I was like I understand there's rules They hate you fall But oh, I didn't obviously know them I know, what, and I know but you had a picture of yourself And a thong on the <laughs> On the SFA badge <laughs> SFA written on your arse You can't can't do that. Uh, Why did you put that on your Because he's seen it, he took it for El Presidente with the so old he book, did, didn't he? he? You can't get away with that big man, get you? What's that? SFA printed on your ass. Lynn did the logo for me and I was like... <laughs> oh, mate, it, was, it was actually a good post. And what, uh, what is wrong with you? You're in Scotland having the Scotland badge on your, your thing, but I, I loved your post after that, just saying I made a wee mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. They contacted, obviously, the club that I'm working under and they gave them and they said that if you wanted to be... Use us, you need to be a quality mark, label, whatever it is. Where did you get the hoodie? Actual f- no, Lim, 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 was in, Lim was in pre-mark and uh, she phoned me and says, Kevin, do you want a Greg's tracky? I went, shut up. And <laughs> shut <laughs> she says, I'll get you the jumper then. I says, don't be so stupid. And then she brought it back and says, we wear it on the show. And I says, ah, fuck, why not? It's, it's actually quite nice, eh? It's actually yeah. all right, isn't ah, it? Nice, Couple of jewels in the pockets for free. Uh, have you seen your, your movie at Batman? Batgirl, Batman. <laughs> have you seen Is it? it any good? Shite. Is it? It's a bad son, it's shite. I know. Huh? I'm trying to go and take the kids. He's never a Batman, Robin. Never Batman. Batman. No. He's no. running about as a mo- like a mosher. Uh, yeah, what's it, Cam Davison, didn't he? Cam Davison. Cam Davison. How, how he's is he no good? Is it just no. Is it just no draw you in? He's walking about as Batman. Like. But he's not doing it in Batman the day. He's working about with the police and the, the house he's trying to work things out. You know I mean? Oh, but he's working with the police. You're grass. I Batman's bet. a grass. But you don't. Need, you don't need to walk about with the. the he almost turned the road down, didn't he? That's half a winky. So put your hood up and see if you look like Batman. Look. No, I know. So how did you? How did you? Oh like, my God, man! Well, you do look like Batman. Ever seen a Batman? We say. Well, how was your Batman role? Obviously, when you. Oh, when I had Batman. <laughs> I, because I couldn't stop, stop thinking about him as Batman when I was watching what it. What were you hanging upside down? No, it's because... Uh, no, I was saying that uh, uh, Lynn said to me, when we watched Batman with... Um, Christian Bale, wasn't it? Christian Bale, Dark Voice. And she says... Oh, dark Dark Voice? Dark Voice. Dark Voice. Wow, she says, that she, that says, she says, I love... No, the Dark, dark Voice Christian Bale had in the... Oh, right, oh, sorry. The role, I thought and she you were saying that was with the fucking... I love you to dress up as Batman. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so obviously one night I came in dressed as Batman yeah, she, she loved it did she? Aye. did she know it was you though underneath? what when the taxi was, was it taxi the Batmobile? <laughs> the white Skoda <laughs> oh. he's went and fired the day isn't he? Oh, he's flying he's, yeah, he's uh, lost a lot of weight isn't he? he's not being well mate he looked really fine on my weight. Uh, we went for that mate. lunch and after that mate didn't leave my bed for two days that was funny food poisoning? don't know what it was raving about that place day I've nearly killed you good night I'm not going to but I don't think it was because my it's been a wee bug that's been going about. I know there is, there is a bug going about. Yeah, so. I could do with a dose of it. 
Hopefully last for a couple of weeks. <laughs> what, did you, what, what, what did you get up to the weekend? You had a team day with your two boys? <laughs> <laughs> team bonding session. Laser Took the two, tag. Took the two to the inner flight. <laughs> Come on, we need nah. to get Kim Dodd no, in no. class. You're talking, you need to talk it up now. It's not people to talk it up. I just, what, 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 my, what my gripe is, is that... Um, Were you waiting for emails to come through? No, no, I just, it's what it is, it's a slow burner. No, exactly. What I've got to understand is that, that kids are already in their teens. Uh-huh. And what you're looking for is kids that maybe want to change. But um, it's open. And if anybody wants to come, you know where I am. And I just know that if they come to me, I know that, if they, that they'll get good training they'll get to understand the game a bit better and I'll give them things to work on and they will improve them 100%. I know once they come, they'll love it, won't they? Yeah. Once yeah, they come, they'll yeah. get them in the door and Hey, build a, build, what's, the, what's that film? Build a, build a, build a field of dreams. How many What is it? What is it? Field of dreams, what is it? <laughs> still the field and they'll come or something, what is it? Insane. Obviously you never watched that film. No, I've never seen it. Build a field, they'll come. Aye, build a pitch and they'll come. <laughs> no, so... Hello, you've been hey, brilliant, big man. I've seen you in action, you're brilliant. Stuff, I've had some stuff uh, but no, he's he's a Shows a wee drill that you would no. do. <laughs> I think that's important. Uh, like a step over. The, kid, no, the, the no. pelts need to see what you're going to do. You know what I'll, 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 I'll not do? I'll no set up a football thing, right? And then phone my mate to come and take the training. <laughs> All right, because that would be like that would be then just like the kids. He's got an expert in there. Has he? Aye. Uh-huh. I, I have an actual expert. Scottish football expert. Aye, he's really good. Sending man. you session plans and everything, isn't he? Oh, Fruzzy. He'll not be back. No, is that him done? Aye, he's done after his performance. Was he like, right? Shambles. So, so how's, how's Boca? How was it Thursday? What was the theme? Was Got it a theme? Source. No, we didn't have a theme, Si. <laughs> but it would be a bit of misunderstanding about this because the Thursday night's meant to be. I want everybody to come and play like a tournament, almost small side tournament, right? Everybody to get a line. But what I'm thinking is people are maybe getting my son, they're maybe thinking they're coming for a, an actual coaching session. But that's not, I need to get the kids playing first because some kids aren't, there's no point in putting on a session for them if they can't control the boss. So just play, love the game. And then I can almost cherry pick them and say, right, you can come with me and on the, come to the session on the Monday or the Tuesday, whatever it is. And then we So call Thursday's it. very much games night. Tournament night, Simon. Oh, well, see on that, see on that, sorry, see how you say that there's no point in playing, bringing the kids along and coaching them if they can't No, no, the I, I, oh. Do you know the better coaching them and oh. how to control the ball? Oh, first and foremost. Because oh. if you get that right, you then oh. the games will get it's a little bit better. It's a bit compared. I never said, it's a bit needle. I never said I don't coach No, you did, we rewind that back. Oh. No, no, listen, like, listen, in the small side of games, which is the problem a lot of people do, so we'll just put them into games and they just step back and watch it. No, no, I'll step in. When they pass it rank, I'll step in and say, inside of the foot, control the ball that way, whatever it is. I'll see these type of things. Yeah. But what I'm not going to say that, Paul. You no, but I wasn't that. meaning that. I'm, I'm, what I was meaning, to Andy, was that's for the tournament modes. I'll, listen, if I go in there, put a tournament on, and step back and just let them all play, no do my job. Do you know what I mean? So I will step in there, Kevin. Um, you stick to yours, I'll stick to mine. <laughs> 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 all right, before we go on, Grosvenor. I don't know if you know, F1's back in it. Aye, aye, so it is. Grovner beat Both. raced Lewis Hamilton in the car park at Strafe in a course and beat him. He was in his <laughs> in his F1 motor. Done Mercedes, didn't he? Done Mercedes. Fire than uh-huh. uh, new offer for Grovner. What is it? What we got this week? Who's what to say it? I'll go for it. You Who get double it? the odds on your first sports bet after you sign up. Winnings paid in cash, also, as we all know. Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open goal. Love it. Another new well offer. But then he's, t- he, he's tired of it. I'm then. tired, aye. What's up, mate? You're not. He's, by the way, He's not happy either. Weekend. I seen him booking Australia. Uh, flights to Australia pre season. I don't know what. Round about July time. What, what's that for? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> right, who's what I did on YouTube? For? Kevin. Right. How right. have we not hit 100k yet? I know. How have we not hit 100k? Disgrace. Can, can you ask even... your two boys to sign up? I'll get something. Pure boys, eh? See yeah. them two boys that are signing up? Are they good? They're the future. So does your boys, is your boys wait as well? Aye, and so two other boys? I've got two, two, I've got my so boy, got another friend. I've got another two that's four. We only need a few more to actually do. I know, but we're fine. We're just what one of your fine. boys is there? Larry? Uh, we, Danny. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Danny. Is Dave. Lynn staying the goalies? Lynn staying the goalies on a Thursday. <laughs> so, uh, just shooting balls, aren't they? Fucking <laughs> 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 Oh Dear man, Lynn fucking, Lynn, Lynn gets hot everywhere she goes now. It's, what, what's the top she wears? Boner? Packy Boner? Packy Boner, <laughs> aye, Boner, Boner one. The grey one with the green stripes on it. Boner, but it's Boner now she's got instead of Boner one. <laughs> the, the number one's like a, a dick, dick pick. <laughs> right, let's get right. on with this. Come on, right, come on. We're not going to subscribe. What's your update? 99? 
But then, yeah. see, you know, what about we'll, you, the Weasleys? Yeah, they're they're all fucking on it, aye. What yeah, about uh, once, the, once internet gets up into Thurzo, we should clear 2000, eh? Because it's no exactly. point reach Thurzo yet. I know. So see, just, see, just, hit down there yet. It's a click of a button, you just need to put your finger on it. That's what it is. Aye. Sometimes that's hard, on it, Paul? Can you can demonstrate you how you put your finger on the button, them, Paul? No, 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 listen. I can do it if they want. If they want to help, we can do it. So there you go. If, if you've not subscribed yet, let us know first, Paul, come down. Ah, and he'll show you how to put your finger on it. Show you how to put your finger on it. Super. Right, title race. We've got a title race, final countdown, no one to go. How massive a result was that for Celtic Paul away to Livingston? First time they've won in a what long time. And the performance was brilliant. Um, as much as when I watched it, I was like, this game seems to be going for fucking ages. It seemed a bit fucking draining, but it was actually after all, when you, you take your head away when you get your nerves and that calm down. There was some performance, it really, really was. What did you like about it? Um, the intensity, the tempo? Aye. I thought, no, I, really, I, I don't really know and I say it, I what I liked about it, but I just thought they were really, really good, Simon. I really, really did. Um, it's one of the hardest places to go. What I couldn't understand was, though, is Martindale said about why the wee boy Anderson didn't start. I know, that was strange. You couldn't believe when the teams came that front, Anderson. That front three had been excellent, and he sets uh, for the front. Um, he's very pivotal to the way they play. Very, very pivotal. So... Do you think he didn't start because of the presence of Nubli or did he I thought that I think they were thinking we'll go a bit more direct Aye. and put Nubli up there But they didn't against. go direct and it, it, it kind of no, no backfired on them because I thought Celtic Celtic started well got a bit for cheers with getting the penalty obviously McGregor's missed it the corner that led to the goal wasn't a corner, corner yet. but sometimes you make your own luck um, the difference I think was that Celtic actually got in the wide areas better and put balls in the box. I know we, they don't have a big six foot three, but what they're doing is you're putting, if you're making defenders defend, eventually you're going to get an opportunity. Um, we Desi Mader. We did Desi and Mader, right place at the right time, good header by Starfelt, good save by the goalkeeper. Mm. And did you hear him to Starfelt? Huh? That was Terry Mendes mucker. <laughs> 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 to be fair to Starfield, he played man. well. He's been, he, was good, ah, he's been coming on to a, to a decent game. Although his first pass, I thought, oh, oh the one that went behind Carter Vickers. Aye, Carter that Vickers. Aye, but no. Levy, I, I was actually disappointed in Levy because they've been playing really, really well. It's catapulted themselves up into the top six, and I was expecting a wee bit more. I think maybe Aye. had things maybe went their way. The, the header that hits the bar from the big boy, um, Obel. Obelai. Obelai. from Aye. the, the, right the, the end free of the first kick. Half. And I think when, when that happened, I think when, when at half time, Ange would obviously say, look, let's cut out the the free kicks at wide because Livy are dangerous. Yeah. They've got a couple of big physical players in Celtic have shown in the past that they're no great at defending um, set pieces and stuff like that. So, but no, it was... It's a big result though. Big, it's a big result. At the end of the day, it didn't matter the performance. The, the, the performance was all about getting... But that's one of Celtic's better performances in the last kind mm. of two or three weeks because the last two or three weeks have been a wee bit flat. Big call for the manager as well, taking out Hitati, O'Reilly yep. never played, Juranovic has been really good and uh, uh, what's his, how do you say it? Abada. 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 See, since January onwards though, you've got to say that Celtic strength and depth compared to the start of the season is ridiculous. I, I, I remember, was it Ross County? Was Tom Boyd was coming on, wasn't it? Tom Boyd was coming on, He was still coming on. Tommy Sheridan on the bench as well. <laughs> Our strength and depth now is ridiculous but I, see that starting lineup, six, six of the, the starting lineup were there for last year. That surprised me a wee bit. Was it right? Look at the amount of, that, the, I actually look at the amount of quality of Celtic brought in last year and it was six boys that probably came under quite a lot of criticism mm. last year it was in the starting lineup. but for me Celtic treated it like a big game yeah. mm -hmm. when they started the, the game and it, you could tell that they probably knew going into the game that Livy's been a bit of a, a, a bogey a wee stinky stinky ground for them over the last yeah, few years no but way. started well, well. Found... see for me the third goal is very very good the third goal if I had to typify Ange Postecoglou Celtic it's the third goal the, the slip, press, oh, uh, the yeah. press, the forward pass into yeah. Roderick. Or, no, not Jota, wasn't it? Jota turn, slide through to Forrest. He was back on the Forrest, wasn't he? I so he's, he back, he's back on the top bunk? Back to his top bunk before Alan's underneath the bed now. Uh -huh. ah, James has got his arse hanging out of the side. <laughs> 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 he should have always been. Oh, it's the way he was back. And Alan's back, Alan's back to the tap side of the bath. Aye. He used to sit at the, the, the side of the taps. You still in the middle of the tournament? I love that. I want to have a move for there. That was a massive win, though. Yeah. See, for the last few weeks, you've, you've always looked at the fixtures and thought that is where Celtic can drop points. Yeah. The thing is that when the team the team lines got announced beforehand, I think the majority of Celtic fans probably looked at that team sheet and thought, why why no Juranovic? Why no? By the way, Ralston's he's brilliant, mate. He's enthusiasm. Anyone that's but, what raw enthusiasm so can get to you play against him? It'd be a nightmare to play against him. But Celtic, the manager's got the he's got the team selection absolutely spot on, and they, they just never. In, in the games, you're needing a wee bit of luck to get, and the fact that they got that penalty early, although it was missed, it kind of set the tone for the rest of the game, and then getting the goal when they did, 
you didn't look like Livingston were ever going to really come back into the game. And then obviously the the the, the, the goal that Livy scored. If I'm a Celtic manager, I, I'm disappointed with that because that's poor. It's kind of where the are uh, set pieces in at long throws corners yeah. is where the they look vulnerable. Because that's like you had what you had the, the cross in from the free the wide free kick, the long throw in, yeah. <clears throat> and there was another one ahead of I think in the first half. I see decent opportunities just with chucking the ball in the box against a Celtic defence. So that's something maybe you've got to I don't know how you, you combat it because when you're up against somebody that's that's bigger than you, it is difficult, but maybe starting positions, maybe no get as tight. Mm. Because I always find as a big striker or a big person. You wanted somebody to be tight to you, did you? You, don't, you, 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 you wanted somebody to be tight to you yeah. because then you knew where they were. Because see, once you get a hold of them, yeah. then you could do what you needed to do if you felt that you were stronger than physically. But see, when you didn't know where they were, yeah, you're, you're kind of looking about and then he might come down the side. So I would maybe look at it where Vickers or um, Starfelt, maybe just stand at the side of them. Maybe no, just try and nick in front. Maybe stand back a bit, try and defend the second ball sometimes. I, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes... I think when the boss hell bit to want to win the ball. When the boss wide, you're always told to mark a man though, it's basically. Yeah, yeah getting it. Uh, I guess. Right, so. like, but see, if, like, we need to talk we need to talk about it. I don't think it had much effect on the game because Celtic were well, well, dominant end up went who uh, deservedly win the game, but the handball rule is nah, embarrassing. It's, embarrassing. Isn't it? I don't know it's actually so bad. bad. Yeah. Every week, I generally think every week for the last like, two or three months there's been a penalty for handball and every one you're looking like. What, what can you do? Where is he supposed to put that? Where is he supposed to put that? He's on the ground. And he's missing. I can think of a few. I can think of a few. But just for so people know, if you do come to Kandorit, you do full sessions on long throws as well, didn't uh, you? Uh, and handballs. Massive on it. John McGlynn's here. Full session on handballs. I've got a phone with you called Rory the Lap. He's going to come and help me. Rory the Lap, I do that. John McGlynn hates it, doesn't he? Who does? John McGlynn. Oh, he would ban long throws at him. some shout, man. Mate, there was a guy I played against years ago, far down the south. He played for Cardiff, Andy Leg. Have I heard Andy Leg? No. Mate, he took throw ins for the halfway line and launched him right and tapped the goalkeeper. I was thinking, that's a 45, 50 yard throw. Well, in, right? I, think throw -ins, uh, I think throw ins are harder to defend than corners. Do you? Aye. Do you, huh? Because it's that slow, it's that... It's in the episode, see if you get uh, a header on it, you, it's not really gone anywhere. Uh, corners, uh, corners got pace on it, you I can... Know. Direct out the box. Robbie Nielsen actually played for throws, didn't he? Just ah, he did. Robbie Nielsen was a <laughs> throw-in merchant <laughs> of the highest order. I remember. He, he should have wore his copas on his fucking hands, Robbie Nielsen. He used to, he used to, <laughs> <laughs> he used to, no, remember his throws? You said launch it. He, he was a good Robbie Nielsen. Aye. 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 Right, he next. <laughs> no, he was, he was steady, Eddie. Tough, wasn't he? Tough. I just guess the people are Brilliant yo-yos you said, man. Scotland are 21s. Scotland are 21s. That was my own experience. Oh, did you play them? Scotland are 21s. We, went, we played Croatia away and then we were Was that the... No, that was no. The, the infamous night. We were told not to... We were told not to go out that night and only one person went out. Came in, caused a fucking riot. Who hey, was it? Was it him? Was it him? Went out in his own in the middle of Croatia. Oh, what about this? Came in at four or five in the morning, absolutely steamboats, and woke up the first team and they were playing the next day. Oh, what a hero. You know, can't wait, bro. That's the guy you want in charge, isn't it? Aye. 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 I always found him. He's going against Bal when the yeah, FA Cup comes up quite a lot for Hearts. I did that. See, yeah. um, I was watching you, sorry, Kev, I was watching yesterday. Uh, I don't want to keep talking because I always seem to bring this up and it like, yeah, broken down record, it's the only person you know. But see, James, right? See, his mentality, right? Because he's been written off the last couple of weeks for the last few while. And I've, I kind of jumped in a bandwagon last week. <laughs> First time I've ever done it. But when I've seen somebody who's going, going away, then I don't want to be a part of it, do you know what I mean? But yesterday, it was unbelievable. And that, see, when I was at Celtic, back. that was his strongest time. Like, even when, because I don't think he's ever been the fans' favourite, is he? Or no. and he's, he gets a lot of criticism, but my God, his mentality, and what it led me on. I don't know if I've asked this, but what player when you've played or whatever you found had the strongest mentality? Oh, that's, that's a great a question. question. That's a great question. We had a guy, Kevin Kilban, that played with Sunderland. He came up for where did he sign? Is it Nadine Kilban? Aye, and uh, he got he got he got stick like every week with our home fans. Good luck, boy. But he just kept getting picked and played every week, and eventually, I don't think he ever actually won them over. But he turned up every week and played well. I, mm. I thought he played well. Played against him. I just feel like a fucking good player for that level. So it. absolute shit you get from the fans to ah, actually yeah. go through that. That's incredible. Okay. On. That James, he's had it, hasn't he? He's had it. Oh, well, look, oh, he's full time, basically. I think if you look at his celebration yesterday. That's what I love about him. Any else would be, and he's just like that. It was very muted as if to say, aye, aye, I'll show you. Aye. Aye. That's, I thought but that was I get two fingers up to the critics. I love that for him. That just sums up how he's played at Celtic for so long. But that's what I'm saying. When I came that, that draw a few weeks ago, I folded like a fucking piece of shit. Do you know what I mean, though? 
I just completely collapsed. Does nah, he push you it mate? Stop talking yourself, so, didn't you? No, but he says after when he got the criticism, it affected him. Ah. So then I started ah, coming But then that's what I mean, like, when you got the criticism, you know you were brilliant, so why would you ask him about You remember the drive down, Andy, didn't he speak for three years? Ah, no. I know. He's a young boy at Celtic like when I was there, I was only there for like a week one, but he had a really strong mentality. He used to <laughs> sit in the toilet and like do self talk scripts themselves. <laughs> yeah. But is there anybody, I didn't even know, but is there anybody, um, you, you obviously you've played with some. some uh, yeah, I, I'd say John Terrell probably. Was he? No, I remember John Terrell, Rangers. Do you know an Australian? No, Spanish. Was he? Was oh, yeah, Terrell. I think he was there for four months. Is it Arsenal? I think he was injured 18 times. He'd get injured on a Saturday, half two, and he'd be fine for a Monday, so I'd probably say him, aye. His mental toughness was different class. John Ter- mine's Matt I don't Ritchie. know, mate. I, I think he was, Ritchie, was mentally was weak. Who was the opposite? I wouldn't like to throw him to the other bus, but uh, certainly Big Boy Lewis talks to him exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't listen, he was obviously unlucky when he did stuff, but was he good enough? Probably not. No. Mate, I, 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 I would totally say is. a few, right, but I, 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 I would honestly put John Souter up there, the fact that, mate, three ruptured Achilles, mm. man. Oh, to come back incredible. to that, incredible. Is, is some gone. Yeah. Cunt Hill, at Rangers, probably the same. What, 38, man, just the way he used to train every day was just outrageous. But I'd say there, there would be a good few. Lenny, mate, when we were young boys, it's, remember Lenny went through a stage of getting booed. Aye. UEFA Cup games, I remember that. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't care, couldn't care less, mate. Just keep getting on the ball and keep passing it back. I, I, <laughs> he used to get slaughtered for passing it back, mate. He would just keep doing it. it. <laughs> but you said as a manager, he hated that. What? Like when, when players pass, pass passed back, it back and yeah, I did hate that. I hated it, mate. It's bizarre, actually, feeling that, didn't he? Yeah. Anyone else strong ment- ment- mentally? Oof. I, honestly, I, I, I could genuinely say a few. I think it's more mentally weaker than the like, testing combo. I think the, yeah. most, the, the, the ones when you see them getting tested at the full. And they can keep coming back time and time again. That's the strongest ones, isn't it? Aye. So is you, have you, you back speaking to James? You know oh, he's yeah. doing well again. You're going to text him. Oh, I said that we man last week to be comments. I don't know if it's too. Leave it a couple of months. Leave it a couple of months. Uh-huh. Next but he's time, a tight in you, so I like him. But you like you probably like that you were honest. Do you know what I mean? Not exactly, and he does. But um, no, he's he's an elite, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah is. I, I do find it mental the amount of criticism he gets. Is that not like 14 seasons consecutive that he scored in the Premier I hate League? that stat though, do you know? No, it's I think it's why the stats in history. No, but it, still, it still shows you no, longevity so. at the top, like, <laughs> top level. <laughs> longevity. How many seasons did you continue scoring there? But you <laughs> must have scored in consecutive, consecutive seasons uh, of year. I too. So it's still scored, aren't you? Uh, no, but it's just, uh, he, he, he's, um, for a couple of weeks here, everybody was writing the math, huh? Yeah, saying that he was done. We 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 had to go at him and <clears throat> hey, maybe he played better because he was trying to impress his bra. Who knows? Yeah, Matt Ritchie saying that. Aye. Yeah, Matt Ritchie. Uh-huh. What would you see when you say that? See if, see if you get slaughtered in that with no ball. Yeah, he was the most infuriating player ever. Like I would scream at him a full game for getting it away. He'd always try the hard pass, hard fucking shot. Try to shoot fans would get on his back, but he would never change me. He would never go into shell and just get like, an assist for a goal. Mate, again, uh, assist, play horseshit, mate. But he'd always get an assist and a goal. Just playing how he wanted to play. When was that same you scored the goal, by the way? <laughs> no, scored since I've been at Peter Head. My last goal was for Dundee against Peter Head. You don't even so, try, though, do you? Nah. You score, though, you're not in the position. Nah, it's not, not for me, mate. No, so that's what, like, four, no, four years? Life, four years since you've scored? No, like eight years, I'm sorry. What? Eight you've not year. scored a goal for eight years? No. No, interesting, yeah. That's madness. See, um, you're actually right. We shouldn't be talking about the British mentality. We should be talking about the weakest mentality, yeah. shouldn't we? That's Who else has had a weak mentality? <laughs> oh, I could see one. Go on, then. <laughs> Did he? Really? I'm surprised at that. I personally thought that fucking every Friday he was injured before the game this Saturday. There wasn't a great deal around him. Fine on the Monday? Fine on Monday. Uh-huh. Maybe it wasn't. He? Maybe he, he, I think he, he was at an age where he, he had to maintain his body quite, like, he had to look after himself a wee bit better because he was picking up wee things. But You'll take that out. you asked to get that. 100%. 100%. <laughs> that's, that's no That's no stain. I don't think if I that stays in, I'll be amazed. I've never asked it to get anything taken out, Paul. Uh, you asked Ever. That sport so right there. Right yes. cock nose, remember? That's one last right week. Right there. Let's first, yeah. You asked, they asked to get one took out last week. Do you know what I'm talking about Dundee's creative players and <laughs> Simon. Now we're getting chilling. Did they get in? Did they get in? Fucking maybe if he Dundee contacted me. That was all right. Right, Rangers, set three points behind. Uh, is that just about results at this stage for Rangers or does performance still well, I said I said that last week that they've, they've probably dropped four points, definitely four points, maybe even six points by playing well over the last few weeks. Mm. But Saturday was a case where they never played well and managed to go over the line. Like it says, it's a title race now. There's only, what, eight, eight games to go? Yeah. Eight games to go, nine yeah. games to go. So every three points is, is massive, especially building up to this old Fulham game because I think if it's any more than three points going into the old Fulham game, it makes the other team a, a significant favourite. So 
Uh, you look at Aberdeen. Uh, did Aberdeen have a shot on target? Or was it one no, shot on target? One, maybe one one shot, one shot on. So they weren't really Duncan under Shearer. much pressure. Duncan but Shearer had a shot. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't were really, they were really under much pressure, but going forward, it, 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 it was What a is it game. going forward? Just not getting enough goals for it's it. Like, it? But it's like I said recently, it's like Ryan Kent and Alfredo Morelos have been on form. Mm, so it's, playing well, but... Aye. Just not getting the same... Return Ryan Kent wise, it's I, I, I think what I've said this for two Ryan years. Kent? Is it the but position he gets in, Andy? I still, you still want Murphy because his top level is ridiculous. But because he, he does get, he has a good finisher, isn't yeah. he? But how, I always say this: I always think his best games for Rangers they come in the bigger games, whether it's the old firm games or European games, because he's got more space. He's got more space to dive at players, get out one v one. Aberdeen, I think, had 32% possession, defended their box. I think they had the full Aberdeen in the penalty box. So mm-hmm. Ryan Kent's not really got the space to. To do what he does normally, but the three points was huge. I actually thought Van Bronckhorst showed some set of balls, man, to take off Alfredo Morelos with Aye. 15 minutes to go and bring on Roof when I you're was when watching you're it. When they took him off, was a booze? Aye, they booed him. They Aye. booed the decision. Did they, right? And then literally five minutes later. That's what I like about Van Bronckhorst. Oh, he does, not Big Van Bronckhorst. Van Bronckhorst. <laughs> 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 he, he, he does make big decisions. You can't say that he doesn't. It. Taking Manelos off at no, no, mate. You know you're going to get fucking stuck for it. As a manager, even the European game changes. Makes big decisions. Quite live and die by your decisions. Yeah. Sometimes you get them right. Sometimes you get them wrong. If Celtic had a loss yesterday, uh, Livingston with that team selection, Peter would have been all over the top of big hands. Same with Van, uh, Van Bronckhorst. Hard to say that Simon. Uh-huh. Van Bronckhorst is the uh, decision to take half Manelos. But Manelos wasn't really. He didn't have a lot of opportunities in Saturday. I've watched the game with Andy saying. Rangers were very, very flat. I think the only saving grace was that Aberdeen were even worse. I didn't think Aberdeen brought anything to the table. They were very slack. A lot of passes, they got the ball back and they kept giving it back to Rangers too easy. And then it got to about 80 minutes and I was sitting there thinking, Aberdeen might actually come away with this by a point. And then a wee bit of, a wee bit of class with Glenn Kamara finding the gap. And that's all you want when you get that byline. Just stand the ball up and you've always got an opportunity. It's and good then play for Kamara, isn't it? The only fault in terms of defending for that Goal would be Dirty Gallagher, maybe no way of what's around him. <coughs> Had he got his body, body in front, Ruth wouldn't have got. So that's probably only criticism, but fair play to Ruth for being there, a bit like Maida's goal against Levy, just being there at the right place at the right time. And They're having some season, I'm they? Rangers, yeah. Uh, okay. oh, Rangers we were Again, I brought it up, we were slaughtered for what we said at the end of last season, man. I'll be honest, yeah, right, I haven't watched that on Saturday, right? And I know they're playing the Champions, right, in terms of Rangers, and it's not an easy game. There'll be nothing from that game that would make me excited about the next game for Aberdeen. To be fair, I think they've got a lot of injuries, haven't they, with Jim Goodwin? And he's... I do think Jim Goodwin will be a good so do I. I, I, I don't. I'm not saying that Jim, Jim Goodwin will get Aberdeen going in time like Sean will, the same with Hibs. Once they get some players in and things like that, but they're sitting like third bottom. When mm. was the last time you seen mm. Aberdeen sitting oh, third no, bottom? I know they've got 32 points and they've only like a win or two away if you've been in the top six, but it's it, it, it'll be frustrating. Mm. Talking about title race as well, the race for top six is mental. Yeah. Mate, where's Ross County? Who do you think Ross County Who do you think Andy would Celtic and Rangers prefer to be in the top six? Because obviously when it gets to the split oh, and man. you've got Where's your five games, you've got three at home, two away. I think Celtic and Rangers are desperate for Kondorit 2014. <laughs> 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 Fair I'll take an awful time out here. Fucking think, think, think like but mm-hmm. I think if, if Celtic had to pick anyone that uh, probably wouldn't have been missing it's Livy in it over the past yeah. results but they would, have, they, would have Levy, they would have Levy at home though aye Rangers uh, what is the, what's the script for that is Celtic getting more home games in the split I don't know how it works this year I, I think Celtic do ah. did you say that to me last week no? Celtic aye so, so I think Celtic have, have got well definitely going to have us at home I think they've played Hibs away twice uh, I think they've played Aberdeen away twice Livy now twice away so but it will change in the Celtic are going to be guaranteed three home fixtures and split. Rangers are going to have two. So mm. it's getting tasty, isn't it? Aye. Well, but let's be honest, it's probably the first title race that we've seen for but mm. over When's the next 12, old, 12, 13 the years. Next old is, it is, it, is it three weeks or something? Three weeks' time. That's a huge game. Because if, if that goes the way of Celtic, then you're going to find it difficult to Rangers to claw back because effectively it could be three games because of the goal difference. Aye. Mm. But Rangers win that game. You're fucking all time. No firm games, massive. Right? Firm, yeah. The old firm games are going to decide who wins this title. You think? Ah, I think so. Yeah, so. both of them. All... I just don't see. I think. What? I think. In, in person, if I'm still at Rangers, I don't want Ross County to be in the top six because I think they're decent. I yeah. think they can take. I think they score goals. They might concede goals, but I think they'll, they'll give you problems. Mm. Um, Hibs. 
Hibs don't look like they're scoring much you now, so for me, they're not really a... They should just take the goals away, shouldn't they? Just oh, they the they hate <laughs> scoring, don't they? They hate, hate scoring. They hate scoring. Um, Fair play. Look, there's your, well, there's your hand in the Scottish Cup draw. The Motherwell on their day are decent. Um, the D United... They, are, they could be horrible as well. I like this round down all the teams, right? It could actually. See, the thing is, it could be, it could be United, anyone in the top the six. The United defensively, when they, they're on... They, they're, they're a hard, hard game at Canada. They're, they're, they're hard United, to break yeah. down, so... I tell you, it's massive, Kev. Aberdeen, Hibs next week, Pataudry. Oh. Massive. Wow. I know. Like, go, yeah. That's a nil-nil first. Yeah, that's, 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 that's huge. huge. No, I'm not going to Pataudry. Next league game, anyway. We should next start going to my house and we'll stick it on the... Aberdeen team. Why don't we start going to games? Going to games again? Why don't you start... Scouting we uh, we we boys for their teams going and watching me games and trying to steal aye, players. Fucking players Dory, aye. 2014s yeah. and Bocker. You get players, aye. aye. That's a good. The trade. big Umbro scout. Aye. scout aye. Jacket on. I think we Sean would come to us. <laughs> 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 no, bad. Kev, no bad. Kev, no bad. All right, listen. Rangers two, Rangers Red Star Rangers this Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. 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 Kev, you must be looking forward to this. Seen Sunderland else. Yeah, yeah. Red Star get battered. Fucking Rangers Red Star. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fucking Rangers. 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 Fucking Any advice you can give Rangers if they want to batter a red star? I think Rangers will beat Red Star quite comfortably over the two, two, two legs. I think this will be this will be a good thing for Rangers because I think they're best form. But how good do Rangers feel if they do go on to batter a red star? How do you feel after it? I think they'll be I think they'll be bright, they'll be breezy. Right. Uh-huh. Um, so it's important that they do it. It's important. No, I think that Rangers is uh, <laughs> Rangers' best form has been in some of the European nights, and I think as flat as it was Saturday, they could raise it through the week and that might help. The, the league form. Yeah, I, I how would you prepare for that? For I taking on a red, red star. So see this week, red star. <laughs> <laughs> see this week when they're playing red star, do you think they start Roof or do you think they start Morelos? Morelos. Morelos every day of the week. Depends who's hungriest. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see you be fair. Say i accent, big man. Come on. Say it. Oh, I can't even say it. I don't know. Say something about your red star. Please say something about your red star in Serbia. <laughs> I don't know any Serbian. Say your red stars about the new Think about Big Vidic. No. You little Big Vidic. <laughs> Big Vidic. Say you want Vidic to head of your red star. No, I don't know. I honestly don't know Serbian. <laughs> I don't know Serbian. Because Novak Djokovic is only Serbian that I know. And he speaks oh, better than English than me. Hell. I don't know why the red star gets me so much. Right, so I, I think Rangers, I think this will be. The, what, I think this will be a canter? I think not. No, I think they'll do. After that Dortmund game, I think they've got the wee bit between their two games. So. We've got, they've got a taste for it. Ah, that it's really got to be a bit between our teeth again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, no, I've certainly got a taste for some European football now, so, ah, they'll be. I do fancy Rangers, to be fair. <laughs> fancy getting the quarterfinals. A big. Because <laughs> you've got to look at it that. Um, Rangers could potentially like, go quite far in this competition. <laughs> and the prize at the, the, the carrot at the end of this, uh, Bean Dangles, a place in the Champions League. <laughs> So we could have Celtic and Rangers, or Rangers and Celtic, because Celtic need to win the league in there. <laughs> <laughs> to end of the Red Stars, like carrot dangle on it. The Red Star. <laughs> <laughs> I, wonder how, yeah, I wonder how far they're going. Why is the Red Star so funny? I'm, I'm, I'm missing a joke here. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, <"Hey." laughs> is that what we called your ass last week, the Red Star? Oh, oh, Jesus, oh, hell. Right, Serbian boys, come on. Fuck it, Serbian. I don't know, I'm not doing See Serbian, the amount of messages right? I've had people all the I know, I know that accents have been decent, but I can't do Serbian because <laughs> I feel like I'll go into a, a mad voice from another country that I don't really talk about in there, so. <laughs> oh. Aye. That's what ended up happening, and I don't want to. He's a genius, isn't he? Aye, I will. Because I'll end up talking as if I'm big fucking him out of Rocky, and I don't want to. Right. Oh, man. Oh, funny. my God. What would, would Rangers rather win the league or win, uh, oh, win, the, league. win the league? Then win that Europa League? Aye. aye, aye so. mm. I don't know. To be fair, like, winning okay. either, winning, winning Europa League's. Would, aye, does that get bit, you in the Champions League? Aye, aye, it does, aye. aye. But, Same amount of dough. But does it get you straight in the Champions League? Aye, Probably be better money, wouldn't it? Because so you get the money for getting to a final and winning the final because you get money per round, but nah, it'll still, I still think. League, league titles, that league win titles it's our numbers. You go for 55 to 56. Oh, that's funny, man. So for me, no, I would. Listen, I don't think Rangers. Um, Rangers to take what they, they take the game at a time. The Thursday Red Star will be shining bright, and uh, <laughs> it'll just be uh, it'll be nice doing there in Belgrade. Is that home or away first leg? Home. Home. It'll be shining bright in Belgrade's home. <laughs> the Red Star will be. 
You don't need to enjoy it against Red Star. <laughs> oh. You also need to be wary of that. Got it. He, can make quite, he can make quite a lot of noise, oh, can't he? Of course he can. They'll be tight to start with. That'll be tight, <laughs> right? But as you get in there, it'll open up a wee bit. Oh. Right? It'll open up a wee bit, and obviously the Rangers should be able to play the play the football. Play the football. Oh my days, man! That's sensational. Uh, right, Andy, how they take it away? Oh, your big trip to Australia. You've cancelled. You. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> Frank and Derek. But what they, did Frank they was for it, wasn't he? Was he? I only won her. Uh, he said, uh, was he? It's a big birthday party for Ange, isn't it? So, I know, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that the problem for Rangers? No, fans? honestly, I, like, I, I, I personally think it's an absolute embarrassment. I really do. I, everything that the old firm is, I, 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 I think Scotland as a whole is why we stand out as a nation because of how passionate our fans are. And that's old firm, Hearts and Hibs, Dundee, Derby, Aberdeen. It's the full thing that stands out for me. And this is just another. Just a tourist show, isn't it? It's, it's not what the old firm is. And people are talking about financial benefits. Rangers' biggest contributor to their, their finances, their fans, and, and the fans aren't having it. So it just shows that I think there's there's far too much over commercialisation. Is that a word? That? Over the last couple of years, and with Rangers and, and the old firm as a whole, and there'll be a backlash for this. I definitely, I, I don't think, think Rangers fans will have it. I don't. I, well, I, if Rangers fans have their way, it won't because. It's like I said, how much money Rangers fans actually contribute to the club in terms of season tickets, corporate, shirt sales, everything. They, 95, 95% of their fans are alienated for that decision. So I think the Rangers board are going to have a, drink a sticky, sticky few months. And that's even after Red Star. <laughs> so drink potentially that the fans could <clears throat> sort of stop going to games if they did? I don't know. I don't know. But they'll not be happy. They'll not be happy, that's for sure. Celtic and Rangers don't need to do this. Well, Celtic, it's going to make a few quid. I know, but... But, mate, that's what I mean. Like, they're going to make a few quid, but see if the Rangers fans really want it to stop, they'll lose money. And then they'll lose money, right? So it's... Oh. For, for a business point of view... And, Celtic, and, and that's what I always say this when it comes to Rangers and Celtic, but you can't, you don't make business decisions if it's alienating the fans. Yeah. Like, not one Rangers fan wants it. Hmm. Celtic fans probably know so much because it's a, it's it's a, a party for Andrew. Uh, <laughs> but Celtic fans are great as well and, so, and, and reiterate... But, mate, I, I still don't think Celtic fans... Celtic fans don't want to hear that. But it's like I say, right, we're saying if if we yeah, your Hearts fans is 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 pals, if Hearts and Hibs organised a glamour friend, they wouldn't want it either. No, I know. It's like, I, I say it all the time, Man U, uh, Man City, Liverpool, Man U, or, they're not even rivalries, mate. It's just that there's half and half scar scarce oil the fans and twenty percent of the cows tourists. Mm. I that for me, that, that optimizes what that is, and that's what Rangers and Celtic are doing. No, that's a good point because at the end of the day they go and do these big uh, Asian tours and stuff and things like that in the, in the, in the summertime because of the rights they have with their TV deals. By Celtic and Rangers going to Australia, it's not going to help us get a big massive TV deal because I'm pretty sure they don't want to watch Dundee versus Ross County on a Saturday afternoon. So the, for me, benefit is <coughs> they might get a, a few quid, cheap, uh, quick quick money, but, but, but for what price do you pay for that quick mm. money? I don't think it's... No. What is the other, what is the other side of the argument? Is it just money? It's just money. Aye, it's a money yeah. thing. 100%. It's a money thing. And do you know what else gets you money? Putting friendies against Arsenal and Real Madrid that Rangers yeah. did at the start of the season. You don't need to play Celtic to earn money. Mm -hmm. no. So it's. Uh, so why would it be more money for it being Celtic and Rangers than, say, yeah. Celtic and Rangers against Man United or Arsenal? Shambles, mate. It's that the same amount of people are going to watch it. Isn't it. Every Celtic fan would watch it and every Rangers fan would watch it if they're playing Man United or Arsenal. Mm -hmm. And then your die hard Celtic and Rangers fans who sported the clubs for, for how many of our years that can you get to go and watch? It's, you're, you're alienating a lot of people. Ah, it's, it's, it's a non biggest rivalry. No, one of the biggest rivalries in the world. You shouldn't no, even, let's keep it competitive. It's 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 it has to be competitive. Have any of you been to Australia? No. No, no. no so you went in pre season, was it? Pre Celtic? That was the end of my Celtic career. Huh? How was it? Tony Mowbray said I was just carrying on fucking. He says that'll be you when we get back, you're going on loan. Did you just get a night out of that when you're over there? Mate, we actually flew our 24 hour flight, innit? You need to go to Dubai and then I sat next to Sammy at Dubai, mate, and sat with his headphones on for 24 hours. No way. Well, Samaras? So I switched with somebody who was sitting next to Paddy. Me and Paddy ended up fucking eating so much food, mate, and drinking. Probably shouldn't have drank. Well, me. And then. Were well, you allowed to drink? I'm gonna say no. Drink, so. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt it. We landed. Mate, it was basically land pre match, play the game, and fly back. I remember being fucking heavy on that pitch when I came on. I had an absolute. Charlie Miller not mate. He oh, was like 38 at the time. Charlie played for. Was it Melbourne? Yeah, Perth. Oh, Melbourne, I think it was. I Charlie not made this, and then Tony Mowbray's like, ah, nah, you're gone, man. See, when he said that to you, did you say it back to him? Like, nah. No. 
Just got to keep next story here. There's next story here, is there? <laughs> no, no, I like this. But that's, <laughs> a, that, that's a trek. Oh, that was a trek. That's a trek for a pre season. For a pre season. That was when Milan. Tony Mowbray made a big speech before it. Talked about didn't like people being late first meeting. Big meal and Meeson had the shits in his room. It was late ten minutes. Came down. Probably the best he smelled. I know. Okay, have you been? I've never been to Australia. No. He's an Australian accent. Then oh. you done a brilliant oh, one. Oh, the other day. Good day, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking shrimp on the bar, eh? Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 vintage it's kale. Too, Do you know what? Vintage that, kale. That, Do you know what that is? That's that's too easy for him. Uh, 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 we need to, we need to easy. put someone onto this. So uh, put him in a scenario in, in Australia. He's an Australian accent that's got a really sore red star than who. <laughs> and he's, uh, his message just left him for, uh, for who? For David Harold, the plumber. Uh, David Harold Bishop. So, <laughs> Harold Bishop. Who's for Carol Kennedy, Dr. Carol Kennedy. She's sleeping with the doctor. What about neighbours that's getting scrapped? Is that no it? way. Aye, they're not really. But he's an outraged neighbours fan that has been scrapped. <laughs> they just lost her job. Oh, what a jumper that is. That's not giving enough credit. No, it's not. No, it's genius. Look at that. Like an angry neighbours fan. Think of like Jason Donovan, Kylie Minogue, and that all through the years. It's fucking hell, this is hard. It's trying what would you do if Greg's went on strike? Do that. That'd be easier. <laughs> if Greg's more cussy, we're not working anymore. We want bigger pay. What would you do? Yeah, I just want my yum yums. <laughs> I love a yum yum. Is that, what's your, what's your, what is your Greg's order? A yum yum. Double yum yum. Pound for two. Brilliant. What? And what about like hot stuff? Oh, no, I don't, I don't really eat that much Greg's. Just a, the old cup of tea and a wee bit and all of them. Peckish, maybe chucking a wee bit of egg in it as well. <laughs> omelette, omelette if, I'm, if I'm peckish, I get a cup of tea, I bake the egg around to you. No, Craig's is, Craig's, is, Craig's is obviously I'm driving about the city with the William and, and, and I get rid of the kind of bake and roll haunts. Craig's is probably the bottom of this in terms of quality. What's the bad? best bake and roll <laughs> in, in Scotland then? That's a good question, Andrew. Where would you be your go to bake oh, and roll? Oh, wow. There's a bit down here on Bell Street, the food, the roll shop, I think it's called, or the food shop. Right. Really good. Is that right? Bacon, haggis, now your tax gone. Okay, well, we're, it's we're, we're going to be. Always uh, oh. We're going to be here Miss Mondays if you want to bring it up for us. <laughs> Why we, we went to up there when we Would you sit and eat bacon roll on camera with your top off? No. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I wouldn't he? <laughs> like, I'd pay it off. Aye. Would you do that? <laughs> Would you do that at the hydro? No, in fact, I find a better bacon roll. Where? Yeah. Union Street, there's a bakery on Union Street on the right hand side. They do their own homemade f fresh rolls, amazing. What's it called? Don't know. It's an, it's it's and see the cakes, fucking hard to know buy a cake when you're looking at them. All, they put the bright lights on them. Oh, strawberry tarts look tremendous. So when you played, when did you eat bad? I've always ate bad. Mm. I've never been one for because you see when you're training every day. What? You just you just bum it off, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I see when you're not saying you just got me skills that <laughs> just goes up and up and up and up I know, that's why to, you're a national hero aren't? I need to get back to DPD because fucking sitting that taxi is no day any good do you weigh yourself often like, we, we oh, just every now and then did, I started running last week you hear what it says when started running last week one at a time please <laughs> I started running last week I did three I did, I did four or five k's last week did you mate? aye four or five k's Monday Monday night went for a 5k with my pal well up for it he fucking pulled it after 13 minutes pulled his calf on a 5k Jumped oh, around. Ah. And then Tuesday. What was your night, time for your 5k? Tuesday night, I took the night off, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well, you took the day off because you'd done a 5k? <laughs> no, day Tuesday, no, Tuesday, I was a. Uh, Tuesday, I had other things on my mind. Gas the electricity, esti ga gas electricity estimates came through. Oh, I should I get started on that. They, they came through, bad, so. Though, right? Oh, it's no, it's no even. It's not bad, no. It's not bad. Fucking it's five grand a year to pay, fucking heat your house. Mines are up, mines are like four, 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 four thousand four hundred quid or something for gas and electricity. And then like Toba when it goes up another forty seven percent we're looking at about six grand a year to heat your house. So what would well, the radiators need to be turned off? Oh, we'll be, we'll be uh, getting heavied up with the last time I'll his North Face jacket and his hat. What about how's your fitness? Under thirty, so I broke thirty on, on Friday. Under Stone. thirty. Thirty and uh, <laughs> thirty minutes. Oh sorry, thirty. Thirty minutes. Time. I thought that was decent. Five K six minutes. Six minutes or a kilometre. Oh, he's been retired a bit. Wasn't he? Wasn't he flat? Wasn't he flat? Up and down hills, up and down the kind of oh, right, rough yeah. terrain. Good, so. mate. Wait, you never played with the flat eights? No, 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 just, no. no. I, was, I was thinking about the flat eights. I was thinking I'd go into the canal. Yeah, yeah. And just running two and a oh, half. That's, that's the play zone. And two that's and a half. Go, that's that's a two and a half back. But I thought, no, I'd chest yourself and then chest yourself. Ch chest yourself. <laughs> and then what ended up happening was I had like half a cake to go, and the time was half a cake to go. I was looking and thinking, I'm not going to make this, and fucking I got there. 
Well, well I'm he's, he's, a, he's a 5k king. I was you doing what you were doing. What was your time, time, your best time? 18, probably. Uh, Wait, no, no, maybe 19 at a push. 19. Mate, that's outrageous. What was yours? No, that. Is it no? No. I could, I, probably, I, could probably get, I could probably get just under 20 minutes. I reckon back in the day that when I, I remember doing a run and I'm thinking it was a three it was a three k run and did it in twelve minutes so that's four. That four was minutes. a long run, wasn't it? Four minutes, four minutes. Four minutes. So I'm thinking that's fucking decent, by the way. So I was that good. You've been a one man show today. Ah, you no, 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 over, no, Kev, honestly, no, no. he's taying over, man. Honestly, he's taking over, man. Kev, see the last two, three weeks, mate. You've been. Ah, no, he needs that. to just sit there with a mic on his own. We just sit and, and watch it. But he's top off. Rolling bait. We just keep your nose and baiting at him. So see, so see the day. The day's Monday, right? What do you always do on a Monday? You see, I sell a little wee bit better Monday. So I didn't eat any breakfast small because I was up at five. I got up at five. Got to work. I come in here and says, you better cut a tea. I thought, cut a tea, we fine. She's only put fucking three bits of tablet beside it. Did I've you gone, that? I'm gone. I feel, I feel terrible now. No. Ugh, mate. We should do a bake and roll taste test for them next week. How many do you we'll just bring in like five well, or six bake and rolls. People that listen, who's going to provide the best bake and roll in Glasgow? That's a good chance. We'll right. we'll, we'll, we'll How many do you could do in, a, in one of these shows just sitting and eating them? Bake and rolls. Eight? <sighs> Depends how it's cooked. If See, it's I'm, I'm, I like it. Crispy. No, I don't like it. Crispy. Like it crispy. Right, say it. No, I like Rachel, it. Rob, See, my... Rob Bacon, who made Rob Bacon's key? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, I like the bacon just like, just hit up enough that when it goes onto the, the bun with the butter sitting there, when it hits the bun, the butter then melts. Then you put the ketchup on it. You're drilling big my watch. And then the grease. It's amazing. Right, there you go. So bacon any bacon rolls out there, aye. send bacon them in. Bacon rolls fucking... Oh, aye. Aye. Right, Conor McGregor saying he's going to buy St. Like Man United and Chelsea. Aye. Guy's fucking gone, isn't he? He's went full Pedro, isn't he? Aye, he's went... He's went, he went full kicks in you now. He would terrify you running a club, eh? Oh, fuck. Ah, mate. When he's calling... I'm sorry, Condor. Condor. I'm going to phone him. I'm going to phone him. Bring some players off of Dublin. <laughs> International signings. Uh, no. He didn't want him running your no. club. No, it's not him there. It's his company. Like. Who's, he, who's his backers? Because I'm pretty sure that uh, whiskey company he set up is worth a lot, a lot. Proper 12. I know, but like, was it no something like they estimated Chelsea at 3 billion? Is 3 billion. That, right, right, Mum will buy it and then he wants to buy Man U. And He's not got 3 billion, no. has he? No. Nah, 1.5 he offered. Surely not. Eh? Can you can buy it? Six billion. Who can buy it? Can you? West. Is he worth you six? just talked about that. Oh, John last episode. Week, you? Have you seen it? I've not seen it. No. Oh, six billion he's got. Wow, man. Six billion quid, mate. If you're writing songs, amazing that. So you could buy Chelsea. So I'm going. He's not six billion, is he really? So he says. Amazing. All uh, right, done United v Hearts. Cracker win it. What a game, by the way. What a goal for the boys. Crazy game. What many subs just made by half time? Four. It was one of the maddest games of football I've, I've ever seen. Honestly, it was. Gaz. GMS broke his hand after 10 minutes. No more master betting? No, done. <laughs> Alex Cotton came on from got concussion five minutes later. Cammy Devlin after half an hour told his hammy. And then Ron Atkinson, what happened to him? If Big it, Ron Atkinson, the right back, what happened? Oh, uh, he, he, he was fucked as well. He said he, was, he, he actually wasn't really feeling that well before the game, then <laughs> half time he's like, I'm fucked. Big soapies, Achilles. So we actually made five injury subs before 50 minutes or something. Four before half time. And to, see, to be honest, mate, that affected us a wee bit because we were unbelievable in the first half of the weekend. Oh, yes. First half an hour was the best we've played for, for months. Who was and that? GMS at? was on fire as well. Uh, as soon as we assist. He was, he was on fire. Boyce's finish was ridiculous. Boyce's finish is ridiculous. What a finish that is. Weak foot really as well. Great finish. So good that, player. Very good player. That fucked us a wee bit because we were on fire at that point and then Dundee United's second half just... Mate, Dundee United... I can't believe how direct Dundee United were. No. Just that I remember, obviously, we played against them twice before and watched them at the start of the season. That was a bit more of a football team, but on direct Saturday, they were who? so who, who, direct. Who were they going direct to? Mayor, the wing-backs, so we pushed our wing-backs straight up right. and go direct to the wing-backs. But see, it be fair them, they could both host it. Mm. First goal's a great finish for the boy Liam Smith, and then second one's a flick on where they get the penalty. But that was like, as much as we were brilliant in the first half, that was a sort of 10, 15 minute period where Dundee United were on top, and then after that, they tried to sit in and try and hold on to the lead. And then, you look at it, point, obviously we wanted to win the game, but Seven points for the three games at the start of the week was massive for us because it was St Mern, Aberdeen, Dundee United. It was three teams that were up even done our next year. I took seven points at the start. Top three is fucking nailed on. When did I'm you buzzing for Hearts? Buzzing for Hearts because came, of the good because season. Of the great season. Still in the cup. And then they had, uh, they had a couple of dodgy performances there before this week and fans Aye. were starting to make a wee bit of noise and saying what have you, but Robbie's galvanised the team seven points out of nine. Comfortably finishing third. The, the Hearts now have finished third. Two early, mate. No, no. One, Andy. 
Anybody else finishes third, I'll be a podcast naked. <laughs> oh, please! Right, you've been shot me in the boys. Get on the boys, <laughs> no chance. I'm not trying this. I'm also finished third. It's done. Because I was looking at the games, I was thinking, nah, nobody's... Because the other teams are taking too many points off each and all. Mm. There's no one team apart from Hearts. It's no, no firm that's, Hearts are firm that's yeah. winning consistently. Because yeah. like Robbie Ross said... Yeah, Ross County. Ross County. Ross County. It's like Robbie around. says... We've picked up mere points of the team running about us. Aye. So yeah. it's no. Charlie says to GMS, why do you not celebrate? He's assist, isn't he? He never celebrated. I know. Why? How can I celebrate against my former employers? This is where I met Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> so is he going to be it for a while? Broke his hand, apparently, so. I don't know. You'd you probably need a cup. You probably need a cup. You probably get that each. and break GMS's aye, hand aye, to aye, that. 100%. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> what was it? He pushed off somebody and broke his hand. <laughs> <laughs> was the big guy McDonald playing? Jim McDonald? Aye. Aye. Was he, he, did, was aye. he good? I didn't know he was in the highlights. Uh, we, 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 we had to see him back. Maybe a lot more of the ball, but. I was Tony. What a player he was. You said Tony kept reviewing the game as it was going on. Kept asking me what Alfredo Morelos is like. I don't know, mate. What's Morelos like? Who was Charlie? I know, I had a beer on Saturday, I never even mentioned it, I never even spoke about the, beer, the game, eh? I don't, I don't know, know. what was... I'm going to have a... Is he injured? I said to him, I'll go for a drink, do you mean a beverage? I was like, ah, oh, Quartz is sinful, isn't it? Aye, totally changed in the big chart, isn't How did you play? Played all right, aye, played all right. But uh, left wing back? Played four positions. Did you? In 55 minutes. Was that not Saturday night? That was a Saturday, you done the 5th no, no. of the Saturday night? Saturday of 3 o'clock, that was. <laughs> left, mid, was that left, left mid, right back, left wing back, centre Was that with somebody on the bench? Four different positions? Gas, GMS when it came out. Came out. Put him in four different positions. What kind of, Robbie Nielsen's coat, I quite like, what, what, what do you think that is? Reese. Reese. Where would he go for, remember. where would he go for Clays, do you think, Robbie Nielsen? I can't remember. Is he a bit, eh, like, is he like a mosh or no? No. <laughs> No, like a cat house type. No, I would say he's me no, like, what do you call cat. them? The hipsters. Hipster? Who's a hipster? Do you know now? Nah. Nah. I've seen him I've seen him roll up that way staying in a pair of wellies. Hey, that's when he's walking his dog, so ah, I need one of these dogs, man, they big fucking. Can he hang in it? His coat did look a wee bit like Gaz Fraser at Poise for us. Tesco? Tesco. <laughs> what was that? What is Tesco? What was that again? F and F. That's F and F. Gary Fred's at place for us. He gets his clothes in We're Tesco. We're running trainers. What's F and F? It's the Tesco brand. Oh, He wears Sainsbury jeans. Good on him. Can I go for a meal deal without getting a pair of jeans or a jeans? Yeah, <laughs> cheaper than meal deal, isn't it? Each to their cheaper own. Cheaper than the meal deal. The man's got a cheap... Meal deals have got up to 3.50 now. Yeah. Man's got a cheap slag in a folk shop in the same space with this geek club of heapers every week. I think mean, this is all right today, now. Aye, you're looking all right, aye. Thanks, mate. I do think you're ill, though, mate. Aye. You're ill. I don't feel great, mate, to be honest. I wouldn't say Cheekbones are more prominent this week. You must have lost a bit in the cheeks. I don't know, is it? Aye, they're prominent, you're looking Push, your forehead's getting bigger. Aye. Is it? But you're getting skinnier, aye. but your forehead's stretching. As if your face is, is going longer. Anyway, That's what I was thinking earlier when you come in. He's, he's <laughs> <laughs> get one of it. Oh, you're no reach, reach. Okay, have you get it. What one is it? Get one that looks like me. I'll pick one. As we scold you, look. I'll pick one each. How's he scold me? Pick one each, Kev. Pick one that. This could, like yeah, could be him here, could be him here. Get Skullsy. Oh, yeah. Let's pick one for each. It's Andy, get Skullsy. Aye, right. Oh, that's you there. P cheap bones. Aye. That's you. There you go. Aye, that's me. Skullsy's you. Aye, I've got no idea. There's a wee pecker hanging out. There's a wee Paul Parker side, look. That's what it is. Best right back in Man United's history. Who's that? The legs are wide up the Scottish player, look. It's Kev, isn't it? That's a red star. What are saying? I don't think there's any light side, to be honest. Is that Luke Chadwick up there? No, there's Paul. There's a little right here. There's a sign yeah. I, mean, I don't know what people say about that picture. I'd be buzzing if that was me. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I mean. I used to love these when I was younger. Aye, I collected them for Greaves. Aye, unreal. Right, we'll, talk, we'll go straight into Man you since we're talking about Scozy. What about their Some second result. half performance? I know, some result for them though. I'm not. I feel like was one of the best to put in this season. Aye, same. But some effort. I think there was a 15 minute period, they had 8% position, which is. 8%? 8%? They're an embarrassment, aren't they? They're a complete and utter embarrassment. But again, people, I see them never not saying it wasn't, you can't blame the manager. The manager has to take part of that. I mean, playing Fernandes and Pulp up front is that was, bizarre. Yeah. But then that doesn't even make an excuse. The lack, like when the third goal goes in, players just refusing to run or no trying. I don't know. I was thinking that last night. Where has it went so wrong? Like this has been on for ages. Maybe not as bad as this season, but where is it? What has actually happened to, since Sir Alex left? It's mental. What has actually went? Like, <clears> I how think it's it down to managers. Back? I think it's down to management. No, I it's the players, mate. All I know, day, but, it's I, but I, I but. Spent a billion, that, is that a billion I know, but I, I, get, I get the players right, but see, see, see any one of those given players on their day 
They all can be very, very, very good. See, I hear people saying that, but who? No, but no, but they can be. Wan Bissaka, Crystal Palace player. But see, when Wan Bissaka first the... came into the Man U team, right back in the early stages, they were raving about how good he was at the beginning. So at some point, somewhere, he was decent. The reason he got a move to Man U, he must have been decent somewhere. <clears> right? But tell us. There is, I know there is some players that are really, really bad, but I think they've no had a manager where they've stuck by him. And mm. they just keep changing, changing, and then players come in, players they come Solskjaer out. They gave Solskjaer like three years or something. Their appointment, but Solskjaer was the, get sacked with Cardiff right in Norway. Then they're signed a, a manager who's never really been a manager. But then the players, if you look, see what you said there, okay, about Wan-Bissaka, right? But this, was, this goes before teams. Solskjaer. I mean, yeah. this is oh, Mourinho this is, and... Oh, oh, this has been compared to other years. teams. I mean, the players compared to other teams, when you get, none of the players Fred get any signed. Uh, definitely. Who, who have they signed that's been absolutely flying when they've signed them at a top club? I think who have they signed for a top oh, club know, that was flying at the time? Point. But then at the same time, Klopp signs players like maybe a man if he's from you know, the boy that's came for Porto and stuff like that. Uh, and they fit in his way, but man, you just seem... Just Mate, Varane was one of the best centre halves in the world when, before he's seen for Man United. No, Varane, there. I'll give you Varane a half. But, no, but even then, you, you can't give him past marks on how he's played when he's played. But what Supposedly I, the mate, next what Harry Maguire for the first goal? When he dumped, he lost it. When he dumped the ball. No one was really said about that. Mate, the hair saves it. It I comes know. to him. He can just pass it out for a corner or clear it and he dummies the ball. I wonder what's happening. That's him trying to be clever. Just trying to be clever and be like, cool, like, let it go through his leg, turn around and he'd hope to pass it away and realise, oh shit, they're shooting again. But he's supposedly their next two targets are two boys at Kandorit 14. And yeah, trying to see, 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 <laughs> see the two boys at Kandorit. <laughs> fucking miles away than what they've got. <laughs> but see, see, like, so, like, see, Man U in these games, right? So Man City, Man City could 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 get anyone are doing. Let's be honest. But see, we actually watch Man City against quite a few other teams recently, like even Tottenham. I mean, they played Wolves. The like, teams are still making it harder. To beat, to, to beat and, and harder to play against Man U mate we're, we're not even close to Man City that's why that's why it was maybe the first 15 minutes mm. when I was watching that second half right even when, when Celtic or Rangers go and play the lesser teams in Scottish football and they make it so difficult to break down if you look at uh, when Celtic drew last week and then Rangers drew the teams sit in and they're organised they're compact and they make it really really difficult to break down Man U can't even do that mm. like, they can't even get a, a no. defensive unit that stops City popping the ball. Like Grealish was getting to a point where he was getting to the line, coming back and just straight and right, we're past to him. No, no kind of ball with him. Him, no, they, all the time in the world, and it just looks. But how long are they going to realise that playing a, f- as Moritz Ross would say, a flat, two, two flat eights? Maybe he's just, it's not working, mate. They've got to get A.B. Skinner, haven't they? He's got to get the job. He's, right. Skinner, aren't they? he's the next target. Uh, Frank Skinner, eh? The it's women are, they won at the weekend. But they've spent. Um, they've that spent two, all that. Mate, every manager's continued to play that two in the middle of the pitch. Why? Uh, uh, and it's continually got worse. Because ah. see, when, ah. see when Mourinho get a sack and Mourinho was coming under criticism, they won the cup and they finished second in the league. And then they brought Solskjaer in that every year it was getting worse and they were further away from the top. Oh. Now this Ranjit, man, he's having a world day, honestly. No, no, we're not Watford and then for one defeat to Man City's yeah. flying. Wow. I just but I agreed with Mika Richards, what he said he about brilliant. why bring him in at the end of the season. And then Neville said about Chelsea doing it, but Chelsea bringing actual managers. Oh, yeah. 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 Successful, successful managers, I don't the, know. The thing about Ragnar is he's, he's not coming in to just end the season. He's coming in and going upstairs. And the, all the players hitting there. Aye. Huh? So he's going to be telling the managers how to be... Oh. But they spent, the, the thing is, see, sometimes we talk about Manu, they spent over a billion pounds. I know, no, it's crazy, mate. What have they been doing with that? Who, who, do you hear Maguire and Ronaldo supposedly fell out? Imagine Harry Maguire trying to tell Ronaldo what to do, though. You know what I mean? Mm. Mate, she's just basics of football, man. So, like, uh, 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 for me, right, man, man City are obviously top league, right, but Liverpool, for me, are the best team to watch because I think, remember Chris Wilder's interview when Sheffield United played Liverpool Brilliant, at the Anfield? Basics he was the best. Uh, Everyone talks about how good Liverpool's players are and, and how good Man- Salah and Mane are the goals they score. They're the best team in the world at doing the basics. They lose mm-hmm. the ball, they run after the ball. Yeah. The, another team's counter-attack and they all run back at pace. Man City were doing that at the weekend by yeah. like, Man U. What about that? Like, five, five, five minutes to go and there's like eight of them And they're all just back. sprinting back. Man U's mm-hmm. team uh, doing the basics. What about oh. Fred at that? I know Maguire's let it through. What about Fred just that? Roy Keane's right. As soon as that ball goes over your head, mate, you sprint back towards your end goal. Uh-huh. Even Rashford, like, I don't know. I've seen so some in the day. Marcus Rashford is willing to listen to offers. Who's going to, who's dating Marcus Rashford? Can it? No, <laughs> I'll be honest. He's no, he's no on your radar. No, no. no. You go, you've only got two players. You I wouldn't, wouldn't, even, take wouldn't even take. I just, it's, it's the, it's the how far some of the players he fail. If you look at Pogba, like he was talking last year about wanting to go back to Juventus and stuff, whatever. Mm. He's gone nowhere. He's a Do you know what? Oh, I, I agree with you and see that he actually fucking annoys me now, Pogba. Fernandez just sprinting about. Uh, he's just 
See during, that, see, see during that Euros, how much were you looking forward to watching Pogba? Mm-hmm. Every time he plays for France, mate, he's he's, he's who, so who bad for Man U for so who, long. You're the man and he's, U he's, most, he's arguably the most talented midfielder in the world. You're the man U chairman. You're the one of the Glazers and you decide to bring in. Who, who are you bringing in? Who are you looking at in world football now that's going to come in and change the thoughts? Man, Tommy Wright, right, mate. Aye. Honestly, I'll make him hard to beat. <laughs> Tommy Wright, mate. Tommy Wright. No, but who's coming in? Because what you're going to have to say is you're going to, need to come in and say to somebody... I don't then, know, am I going I to give you three, four hundred million? Because that's just going to. You want to get rid of every single player, didn't mm-hmm. you? Because it's obviously the culture in there's just. Nah, Even toxic. you see Rash- Rashford coming on, he's got. You can tell he's got the hump. Yeah. You're not sitting on the bench because you've been brilliant. You've been sitting, exactly. sitting on the bench because you've been shite. Right, exactly. Well, come on, do a bit better, and you might start the next game. But he's like all the time, Rashford, doesn't he? Just mopes about in the pitch. I don't know what's going on at that club, but the, the, the thing is, with, um, the thing is, with Ronaldo, he obviously was injured just a bit. Keane's trying to say that he maybe was the injured. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Because I think uh, how old he is and what he's done in the game, he still has a big fucking heart and still wants to do well and still wants to try and do the right things. At least when he plays, you can see he's making an effort. Some of them in that team's just miles I off. I don't like Fergie ever left. He's at every game. Uh, Fergie? I think he's been every, every single game since he's left. He, he's, he, that man's that clever. He saw... Do you think he's he, seen this he, coming? He, he foresaw yeah, but, he'll be, coming. but he'll be devastated what's happened to him. Oh, I what's happened to him. And I, 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 heard a brown, uh, I, heard a, I read a brown thing. Who's had the bigger, no, no, who's the best manager? Who's had the biggest influence on football? Sir Alex or Pep? Oh, Pep. Neither. So Pep and Cruyff. Pep. But Pep, this is the argument. He's put it into practice at a top level. Pep, Pep supposedly changed the full of German football there on. They try to play that. You know, see English, uh, they, they all like to play like that. So, I mean, I went down to English lower leagues and it was fucking bod in the touch of the ground. And see when Pep went to Man City? Fit, the football in general is, that is really, miles better. Shall we always say when we, when we grew up and, and, and we players played and stuff like that back in the day, they, they need to ever get coached. Right now, we are all, everybody is all coaching and really obsessed with it. Is because of Guardiola? Is, I don't know. Did you? Uh-huh. I, 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 I did have youth coaches that coached though. Did you know? Uh, uh, like Tommy Burns wanted to play with how kind of. So I do think it has been, it's, been, it's probably definitely more. Possession based. And see, when you actually watch youth teams now, they all play at the back, eh? mm. like all of them play at the back. I would agree that something's changed because I think of how I played in my position when we played for Sunderland it was like right, we're going for diags of cable get second balls you'll knock it on and that's how we set up and it yeah. worked to your point at Hearts under Jim but it was different because we had three players like Timps, Elliot and Rudy Scatchel who could play off so we tried to get the ball into them and it was more get the balls in for the wide positions whereas like you say even the lower league teams right through at every division now the ethos of philosophy is let's try and get the ball in the deck first yeah. and you resort to the long ball if you're like if you've a goal down, you have yeah. 10, 15 to go, or if you've got a fucking target man who is very good at clearing it in my chest, get his up the park, that's fine. Yeah. But that the days of the long hopeless ball up front are kind of gone, eh? Yeah. I, I seen you watch it though, like yeah. I'm a wee bit worried though with football because I feel the way a lot of times I watch football, I feel that what players are good at and when you play for uh, the instinct to a player is when I watch it, I think it's getting taken away a wee bit and I worry about that. Mm. And it's becoming everybody almost it's just sort of doing like... But do you think Man City are like that? Though, Cause no, I don't like... think Gardola... Because Gardola's actually said that, but I... Even I think I'm... he says he gets them at a certain point and then he lets them go and express themselves. I would agree with that. that because what, 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 when you're coaching kids, and I'm like, back to Condor, <laughs> right? <laughs> the thing is with kids, the football is you, you teach them the basics, right? And you get them to master the basics. And Good once man. they master the basics, right? And the basics aren't the difficult. Basics, control the ball, yeah. pass the ball. Run. What you then you and run. And what then you an effort. What you then you need after that is for somebody to have that wee bit of difference up here on their mind. Or if you if you watch Man City and break it down as simple as all they're doing is passing and moving. And then every now and then you've got the ones that are super clever that will make that unbelievable run. And then one will make that unbelievable pass. That's just football. Aye, but I, I feel and that's what separates the guys up there to the guys doing theirs. How quick they think and who's... Because uh, I, I, I've said this before, right? I genuinely believe anybody in the world can make a team hard to beat. Yeah. Right? Anybody. Oh, aye. Anybody can come off the street, street and go into a, a manager's job and make a team hard to beat. Let's be honest. But a 5-4-1 tell them what you sit at the edge of a box, you're hard to beat. Yeah. But see, when I, Andy, see when I watch back, back watching like guys like Gerard Lampard and stuff and you, you, even skulls and stuff hitting like long shots, brilliant goals. I don't think you see that anywhere near as much now. And I think a lot of uh, managers and coaches are doing a thing like they look at sort of areas and, and think the 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 ratio of actually scoring goals for sh- long shots yeah, yeah. doesn't happen a lot, yeah. so the city players don't do it. But I don't think you can be like that. I don't think you can ever say don't do it. Because if you feel it, players need to make the decision when they're on the pitch. Ah, You can give them options if you get the ball here, I want this sort and certain moments. But then after that, it's up to you to go and pick one. And I'm hearing even even out wide and stuff in areas of the pitch, don't be 
delivering the ball in the box, I certainly have a pitch. But you, you watch Trent, he can cross the ball for anywhere. Mm. He's unbelievable. Nice. He's he, can't he, take that away if he plays. No, he's he's him crossing the ball for anywhere. He's crossing the ball for anywhere because the movement of the front lot are finding themselves. So if, if a Mane or a Salah or a Firmino is playing up front, they're finding gaps in between the centre halves that see if the ball is right. It doesn't matter if you're six foot five centre half or a six mm. foot eight centre half. See if that ball's delivered on point. You're and Jota's got about seven hundred. Exactly. Yeah, you're yeah, always going to get an mm. opportunity, and it's the quality that's. Whereas back in the day, did you just chuck balls in the box for the sake of right there? It's in there. Go and try and make a, an effort. Whereas now, balls into the box are more thought out. They're more. I think not. I think the opposite. Point. I think back in the day, the balls were much better. No. I think guys like Beckham and all that. When, when, oh, but Be- Beckham, Beckham was Beckham. Back Beckham, in the day, Beckham though, isn't Beckham. He could play the ball. Gigs and that. Like, I thought they were brought just crossing. Other than gigs and Beckham, but like I, I, I see because I, the way Beckham and gigs that played, I just thought. That's. I think that's come out at the crosses, and he does. I don't really see the happen. De Bruyne, De Bruyne is probably the best. Oh, one of the best cross of all time. Trent Beckham. as well. Trent. So Beckham, De Bruyne. Bruyne. Hey, do you like Trent? I, I just. I, I, I don't, do you see a lot of like he does in crosses now coming in the box? I don't see anywhere near as, as much as back in you. No, you played, I, I, it's it definitely da, does I think it's, diff, it's different crosses, isn't it? Yeah, right. Man City, cut backs and half space ahead, crosses yeah. and. But mate, wide I, midfield running the space. I still think Liverpool backs. win the league. Rewind to the start of the season, first podcast of the season. I said Liverpool, Chelsea, Miles Abbott. Chelsea, they've never got, got uh, injuries. Do you know he, I still think like Liverpool. I'd good. probably agree with one of these, but oh, man, say when it. I think. Kyle's doing some job by the way, and it's went right under the radar. I tell you. Oh, he is. Up to fourth, huh? Yeah, they're a good watch, they're actually a good watch mate, the first, was it the first or second goal was fucking brilliant I can remember I can remember one guy um, through a certain Mr Eddie Howe under a bus said he was yes. the manager who did he? I think it was way a bit big man, but <laughs> hey, mate, who gives a fuck? he's flying the wee man now. He's flying, but he's a wee man. Fraser's flying. There's a wee man that's flying. He's too fair, I know, it bored me. I wonder how they made in. Made in? That's a great shout. Man, we chucked him under the bus at the time we said, oh, because I think he lost his first few games and we said that he was uh, he wouldn't have done it at Celtic. He's a heater, big man, isn't he? Oh, he's a heater. Put a cross in. Go on, show us how to fucking talk about no. crossing. Show us how to heater a ball, man, isn't he? Heater a ball. Oh! oh I nearly fell off the fucking chair there. No, I run that pause for Kevin. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Are you getting one accent into for me speech? No, no, no. Nation? no. Don't accents. I know, but he's a Greg's up. worker's accent. No. <laughs> somebody's trying to come in a minute. Alright, son. What are you after the day? No, somebody, Kev. <laughs> somebody's come in a minute after you've just shut. Oh, please let us get some. Uh-huh. So you, you, you be the customer. Right. Go. Can I get? How are you doing, Mama? Can I get a uh, free steak bix? Oh, son, we've just shut the ovens down. But it's Harry, Barry, and Gary. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that's super. <laughs>